Right guys, if you've already seen on a vlog, you might already know I've got another new car, or possibly in the process of buying it. I just thought I would say, uh, well, this is another new car I've got. This one, I'm thinking about um, taking it on. Not really to keep, maybe to move on. Some of you guys may be interested in it. Um, so, what is it? Like I said, you might have seen if I've left this one behind a bit on my vlogs. I haven't bought it yet, but he's already said he'll sell it. Make him an offer, he said. So, here it is. Here is out the all right cars. They're actually good cars, but just very boring, I will say. So, what is it? It's a Ford Fusion. Just a Ford Fiesta with a bit higher roof. Nothing interesting whatsoever. Nothing to blow your mind. It is what it is with a dint on a quarter panel. I'll come to that in a minute. But, it's a very late one on a 10 plate. So, fingers crossed when we stick it up on the ramp, it's not got any issues underneath with rust. Which, I've got the opportunity to um, check it, which most people don't. So, I'm, I'm sorry about doing it in here without the natural light. Um, because, we're obviously stuck with um, the builders outside and I can't hear myself think. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit of condensation in this backlight, but hey-ho. But it's generally tidy. Now, there's two downsides to this car. Number one is that clearly there's nothing much i can do with that it is what it is but the guy claimed that he's insurance so it's a cat n non-structural and what i like about this is if somebody wants to buy it and they do a reg check and they go "Ooh, it's been wrapped around the tree it's a cat n well it's non-structural and i can just simply say there you go right there that's all it is a dent in a quarter panel doesn't look great but if you just want a car to deliver parcels, pizzas, put the dogs in, it's fine. Sometimes what's worse is when you get a car with a category write-off and you can't see what's happened. And you're a little bit like, hmm, maybe what's happened is it had a front-end smash, back-end smash. That's all it is. And as you know, it's quarter panel. And this can't be unbolted like a door or a wing or a boot lid. That's unfortunately just going to have to be left. And do you know what it is? With a full MOT on, it's a good car. All good tyres. Ten-plate car. We'll have a look around in it. It is absolutely immaculate, actually. I don't even need to take the hoover in here. It actually smells like timber. <laughs> sounds really weird. It sounds like it smells like IKEA inside, like MDF. And I'm I'm not there uh, shitting you there, seriously. But yeah, uh really, really tidy. I don't even have to take barely a hoover to this. 92,000 mile. Heated windscreen, air conditioning. Electric windows, auxiliary input for your uh, sound system. We'll open the boot. We'll have a look in there. Electric heated mirrors. But yeah, it's uh, it's tidier than I remember. I'm not quite sure what you've got to do to get in this boot. If I'm doing that right or or what, I don't know. I don't. Know. I think you've got to use the key or something, have you? Or I don't know. It all lights up when you do the keys. I think you've got to use the key. I think the little electric motor's getting a bit dicky. Uh, it is. Um, lovely big boot. Deep boot. Low boot. Oh, factory parking sensors, I think, as well. Yep, yeah, they they look like factory to me because they're in, in board. Um, lovely clean car. So, yeah. I think I might uh, go for this one. It's got the absolutely bulletproof. I don't know if it's the 1 1.4, 1 1.6 or 1.25. They're all exactly the same. Absolutely bulletproof, these engines. Fantastic. I think this is one of the few Fords it is where you don't have to faff around with the key uh, to open the bonnet. Lovely big mirrors on them, which the Fiestas definitely do not have. And we'll get it put up on the lift and I'll show you. But when you're looking in there, it is really tidy. I think this will make somebody a very good car. And providing there's no leaks or any major... It's got one month, two month MOT left. But I'll stick a full MOT on it. Um, and when I get the bonnet open, just debating what I have to do here. And there we go. New enough battery. I mean, new enough. Replacement battery. Can't see any signs of leaks or anything. It's all looking good. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'll do a red check. It doesn't say on the back. And they all look the same. It's either a 1.25, a 1.4, or a 1.6. I'm guessing probably a 1.4, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, we've serviced this car for a long time. We've done all the work on it. I haven't got a great deal to worry about. Maybe set a stick a set of nice wipers on it. An MOT. Do you know what it is? I don't even need to bloody clean this thing. It's lovely. 
What do you think, guys? Should I buy it or should I not? Tell you what we'll do. I'm going to pause this now. I'm going to bang it up on the lift and we'll have a look what's cropping up underneath. See if there's any major problems. To you guys, it'll be like that. I'll be back with you. Right, guys, I've checked it over. And it's bloody good. Definitely, definitely good little car. Let's have a look when I find what I've just done with the lamp, which is on there. Check it over. The most really I think it might need is an advisory on this tyre. It's fine. It's just getting a little bit near the limits. Perfect advisory for the MOT, no problem. Brand new tyre here, brand spankers. Disc perfectly fine. Pads perfectly fine. Again, disc and pad perfectly fine. I'm just going to coat those ferrules. But as you can see up there, I've already coated those. The front springs are brand new, which are a pig on these. Uh, they've been done. Um, nicely serviced, no leaks whatsoever, bone dry underneath here. All the fuel lines have been, I've co coated them, but they were already coated from uh, when, when we've serviced it. They're nicely done. Back axles where they normally go. I, by the way, guys, I'm in the mid of doing this, so this is all to be rubbed off. I don't leave things like that. Um, they're where they normally rust. I've given that a quick coat, and I've just opened a new can of grease. I'm just going to finish it off. They're the other parts where they go, which I've scraped down and checked, giving it a good hard scrape, because it's something I'm considering buying. It's perfect. Two brand spanking new back tyres. So basically, bar one, four, three brand new tyres, new springs on the back, exhaust's all in good, Nick. No real issues there. Um, so yeah, good little car. Good Nick on the subframe, all the underbody, the sills, all perfect. So, I think I'm going to have this one. Definitely think I'm going to have this one if we can agree a price. And the only money I'm going to have to spend is a can of grease. I might stick two wipers on the front. I'm not even going to waste 50 or 60 quid on that tyre because it's more than more than above 1.6 mil. It's at about 2.5 mil. It's perfectly fine. Um, it's got three other new tyres anyway. And that's it. I'm not even going to piss on with that dent on the back either. So simply, MOT it. A couple of wipers. Need to check the lights. Don't even need to clean it. I can park it on my drive. It hasn't got leaks. That's one thing I can't have on the drive. So... I think I'm going to have this. What do you think? Do you think it's a worthy buy? I think it's a smart looking car. Now, I'm not a big lover of the Fusion, but it's a perfect car for lugging your family, dogs, using it as a work vehicle, parcel delivering, pizza delivering, whatever you want. It'll probably be relatively cheap tax, relatively cheap to run. One thing I've spied is this, which I'm going to try and pop that back into place. But yeah, template car. It's the same age as me, Altia. So, you know... I would like to keep it myself, but I just prefer the extra bit power of my Altea. So yeah, leave your comments below. Should I avoid it? Should I buy it? Yes, it's got a category on. I don't know what category. Uh, it cannot be an, an, an S because it's not structural. It's just a dent. But the dent would cost more than the car's worth. I'm guarantee it'll be a Cat N non-structural. And I think I quite like that idea of the dent still being there. So if anybody questions it, you just go, there's your answer. There you go. Nothing to hide whatsoever. Would you buy this car? Would that put you off? Bearing in mind, we're getting a, we're not talking a lot of money. The car itself is perfect, drives fine, no issues. I don't think that will put a lot of people off. I know it's a bit of a risk, but it's, we're not talking all about a lot of money for the car. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to take it out for a quick drive when I get it off the lift. Um, but, yeah, not really anything substantial whatsoever to spend on it. In fact, when I get a spare few minutes bang it in, get it tested, um, and take it home. I'm saying all this yet, I need to speak to the guy, we need to agree a price. If we can't agree on a price, then he'll just keep it and he'll sell the other one. As it, as it happens, he is selling a red Toyota Corolla, which will be going cheap, a T3 or a T4, um, red 56, 06 plate, I think it is. I can't quite remember the, uh, no, sorry, it's not, it's 05 with a sports body kit on, that'll be for sale, uh, going quite cheap as well, because you're getting rid of both these cars at once. So yeah, let us know your thoughts, guys. Shall I run and hide, or shall I buy it? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe. It really does help me channel. So yeah, hopefully we'll get this one on. I'll do a bit more content on it. If work I do to it, and things I get up to on it. Uh, I don't know what yet. Like I've said, I haven't driven it properly. We'll find out when I've driven it. But yeah, I'm happy enough with it. I would have it as a daily if I didn't already have as many cars as what I've got. So I'll get this video uploaded as soon as I can. And I'll let you guys be the judge of what happens. 
Maybe one of you guys want to buy it. It's a cracking car. I've serviced it for at least five or six years. I can definitely vouch it's a genuine car. Even the dent, even everything. I can tell you what happened because the guy come to me when it did. So I'll catch you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching.